Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and size comparison of the new Motorola One. Now why exactly this phone? Well, because here in the UK it's just been discounted to $199 guys. You can get it on Amazon, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. So why did Motorola discount this phone from $270 to $200? Well, because of the fierce competition in the Black Friday weekend sale. So let's have a look at these specifications first and yes this is a Moto 360 in working condition three years later guys. But anyway at the back we're gonna see that it has a 5.9 inch HD plus max vision display which basically means 720p screen and max vision means you've got the notch. But don't panic the new iPhone XR or XR or whatever you want to call it has the same well pretty much the same 720p screen at the back you've got dual camera setup AI cameras can you imagine now the back cameras consist of 2 megapixel bokeh camera as well as 13 megapixel man cam the battery inside is 3000 mAh of battery and turbo power means basically you've got fast turbo charging 4 GB of RAM with 64 GB of storage the processor inside is the good reliable Snapdragon 625 which is uh, well two years old now but anyway we all know about Motorola's optimizations so I'm expecting this phone to run quite well. So now let me get my little unboxing knife over here and let's see what we can do with this box which I shall pull up. Okay oh man this one is gonna be um, well an overkill so yeah let me pull up this one over here right let's Cut this baby open like that. Okay, I believe that's enough. I'm gonna leave the knife aside over here. And let's see what do we have, guys. All right, brand new. I kind of wish that this bluish purplish color was available as a back cover of the phone instead of just black and white. But anyway, now there's the phone itself, obviously. I'm going to leave it on the side over here and let's see what else do we have, guys. Some books. Oh, something inside. Let's see what do we have, guys. Man, that's a thick manual for a phone like that. And what's inside? SIM ejection tool. We've got our turbo power brick over here, as well as I'm really hoping for, yes, USB Type-C cable. <laughs> I've seen this trend over here for micro USB cables, but anyway, I'm going to leave this box aside, guys. And this one, I'm going to place it strategically like that. And let's see what this phone is about. Okay, a case. Man, you've got a case now. I really, really like that because Honor is giving cases and Motorola is giving cases now as well that's cool so let's peel this baby off okay i'm gonna just slap it over here on top now let me take this case off because i want to see the phone actually and uh, how do i do that i mean it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty stiff which is good so it's good to be stiff um but yeah let me just man okay now that's the phone itself shiny i gotta tell you mm that's nice the motorola logo over here i can imagine that's our fingerprint reader and man this fuse premium definitely premium i kind of like it to be honest with you the button position is pretty much all right the power button is here volume rockers over here what else do we have 3.5 millimeter jack oh yes baby a small microphone over here at the bottom what do we have guys We've got some speaker grills, I can imagine, as well as the charging port and on the side, SIM tray. Let's see what the SIM tray is about. What do we have over here, guys? Let's see. Okay, this is one of the best SIM trays combination that there are available. Two SIMs plus micro SD slots. Excellent, Motorola. Excellent. Now, let's power this baby up and in the meantime... Let me pull up a few phones. Okay, Android one. Let me pull up a few phones just to see size wise how does it compare. Now there's the Moto G6 over here as well, discounted on Amazon. And there's the Moto G6 Play. So let's see what we're dealing with. Check this out guys. 5.7 inch screen here, uh, almost 6 inch screen over here. And pretty much a little bit smaller. And 
I guess pretty much the same size. The bottom positioning is the same. And this one as well, the play. Let's see. Okay, it's actually smaller than the play, which is good. But the main question is, what is the competition of this phone at the moment and why did Motorola basically discount the price? And the answer to this question is to be a direct competitor to the Honor 8X over here. I've done quite a few videos on it. You can check them out on my channel and check this out, guys. Okay, let me wipe it down a little bit. Uh, right. So check this out, guys. Quite a lot smaller than the Honor 8X. And in the other competitor is the Ah, Sony Xperia XZ Premium, check this out, there's absolutely no comparison in terms of size and while you might be asking, I have a masking tape over here on the charging port, well, I've got a video on that as well, uh, wait for my full review guys, it's coming in a few days, but quick tip, do not buy this phone now, I know it's a discount to 230 but just, just don't, yeah. So pretty much that's it guys, let me put my information in and I'm gonna come back with my first impressions in a sec. Okay guys, so I've been playing with this phone for a few minutes and I gotta tell you as one of my favorite YouTubers says, this phone is a major go. Check this out, the fingerprint reader works 100% of the time, it's not one of the fastest ones but definitely fast enough and check how quick this phone is guys. Check this out, Snapdragon 625, ladies and gentlemen, on a 720p screen, and when it comes down to the screen, it's fine, guys. I really can't really tell the difference between 720p, I mean a good 720p versus a bad 1080p screen. Don't get me wrong, this is no Xperia XZ2, you know, 1080p screen for a comparison. For 720p, it is a good screen, guys. And the thing that I like about Motorola Numera, what your mama says is, check this out, new system update available straight out of the box, guys. Now, that's a security patch, but Pi is available for this phone, so I'm just gonna go ahead and download the update and update this phone now. So yeah, for 200 quid, guys, this phone is a major go. Now, in the next video, speed test between both of those phones to see how does the two-year-old Snapdragon 625 compares to the brand new Kirin 710 over here as well as full comparison between those two phones. Guys, let me know if you want me to do a camera test as well. And in the next few videos, a full review of the Xperia XZ Premium. And should you go for it for just 230 pounds? And I know I'm terribly late with the reviews of the G6 Play and the G6, but they're coming in the pipeline as well. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. And see you in the next one.